This is the Music History Today podcast for June 27th. On today's show, Elvis comes back, Smile turns into Queen, and John Lennon finally becomes legal. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Fats Domino recorded the song Blueberry Hill. In 1960, Connie Francis became the first female solo artist to have a number one hit on Billboard singles chart. It was for the song Everybody's Somebody's Fool. In 1964, singer and actress Ethel Merman married actor Ernest Borgnine. In 1968, Elvis Presley taped his Comeback TV special, which we go over in full on the Music History Today in-depth podcast, which has dropped by the time you're already hearing this on this particular network. Subscribe and like, as they say. In 1969, Frank Zappa and Jimi Hendrix were the headliners at the Denver Pop Festival. In 1970, Janis Joplin and the Grateful Dead started the Federal Express Tour of Canada, during which they crossed the country in a train. In 1970, same day, the band Smile changed their name officially to Queen. In 1971, the Fillmore East Concert Hall closed. In 1976, after years of fighting with the United States government, John Lennon finally got his green card. In 1980, John Bonham of Led Zeppelin collapsed on stage. That would actually happen quite a bit. In 1986, Black Flag played their final concert. In 1993, singer-songwriter Lyle Lovett married actress Julia Roberts. In 1994, Aerosmith gave fans a free download of a song, becoming the first major label band to do so legally. In 1997, The Prodigy headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2003, Radiohead headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2005, Daniel Powder's song, Bad Day, which was the send-off song for eliminated contestants on the American Idol TV show, became the first song to sell over 2 million digital copies. In 2007, Nikki Six of Motley Crue and actress Donna D'Errico divorced. In 2008, Kings of Leon headlined England's Glastonbury Music Festival. In 2009, Eddie Van Halen married publicist Janie Lazuski, and in 2012, Rihanna was evacuated from the Corinthia Hotel in London, England, after the hotel caught on fire. In theater in 1959, the musical West Side Story closed on Broadway. In 1976, the Broadway show Pacific Overtures closed. In 1982, the Broadway musical Dancing closed. And in 1993, the musical Falsettos closed on Broadway. And in award ceremonies that were held on June 27th in 1989, Tom Jones received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on June 27th include in 1966 when the Mothers of Invention released Freak Out. In 1974, The Grateful Dead released The Grateful Dead from the Mars Hotel. In 1981, Motorhead released No Sleep Till Hammersmith. In 1983, Twisted Sister released You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. In 1985, Lee Aaron released Call of the Wild. In 1986, Shaka Khan released Destiny. In 1988, Ranking Roger released Radical Departure, and Jethro Tull released 20 Years of Jethro Tull. In 1989, Don Henley released his chart-topping album, The End of the Innocence. The B-52s released their chart-topping album, Cosmic Thing. And Pete Townsend released the musical to The Iron Man. In 1992, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer released Black Moon. In 1994, Beck released One Foot in the Grave. In 1995, Government Mule released their self-titled album. Allison Moyer released Singles. Fish released a live one, Bon Jovi released These Days, and Neil Young featuring Pearl Jam released Mirrorball. In 1997, Hammerfall released Glory to the Brave. In 2000, Whitesnake released Whitesnake's 20th Century Masters, The Millennium Collection, The Best of Whitesnake, Chuck Berry released The Anthology, and Hart released Greatest Hits 1985 to 1995. In 2006, Whitesnake released Gold, 
and Bob Dylan released Blues. And in 2011, Queen released Deep Cuts Volume 2, 1977 and 1982. Singles that were released on June 27th include in 1973 when Aerosmith released the iconic Dream On. In 1980, Kiss released Talk To Me. In 1986, the Monkees released That Was Then, This Is Now. And in 1995, Pearl Jam released Oceans. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 27th include singer Her, singer Lauren Yurecki of Fifth Harmony, Leigh Nash of Sixpence None the Richer, country music singer Lori Morgan, Gilson Lavis of Squeeze, singer-songwriter Doc Palmas, Frank Mills, who did the song Music Box Dancer. Jeffrey Lee Pierce of Gun Club, singer Aitana. Singer Evie McKinney, Big Mo, Christian Kane, singer Lolly. John Warren of Reliant K. Joey Covington of Hot Tuna, and also Jefferson Airplane. Composer Elizabeth Claude Jacquet de la Guerre. And singer-songwriter Bruce Johnston of The Beach Boys, the Rip Chords, and also Bruce and Terry. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 27th include composer Pablo Bruna, who passed away in 1679 at the age of 68. Harpsichordist Elizabeth Jacques de la Guerra, the aforementioned, passed away in 1729 at the age of 74, on her birthday no less. Composer Johann Reichart passed away in 1814 at the age of 61. Composer Louis Sebastian Lebron passed away in 1829 at the age of 64. Opera singer Carlotta Patti passed away in 1889 at the age of 48. Composer Whitney Thayer passed away in 1889 at the age of 50. The songwriter who helped to write the lyrics to the Canadian national anthem O Canada Adolphe Basile Rothier passed away in 1920 at the age of 81. Composer Werner Worley passed away in 1944 at the age of 52. Composer George Strong passed away in 1948 at the age of 92. Violinist Francis Casadesis passed away in 1954 at the age of 83. Composer Daniel Lazarus passed away in 1964 at the age of 65. Composer Richard Vance Maxfield passed away in 1969 at the age of 42. Pianist Cliff Friend passed away in 1974 at the age of 80. The jazz clarinetist for the Duke Ellington Orchestra from 1927 to 1942, Albany Barney Bigard, passed away in 1980 at the age of 74. Country music guitarist Joe Maphis passed away in 1986 at the age of 65. Composer Zoltan Gardonyi passed away in 1986 at the age of 80. Singer and actor Alan Jones passed away in 1992 at the age of 84. Stephanie Ann Sargent of the group Seven Year Bitch passed away from a drug overdose in 1992 at the age of 24. Blues singer Prez Kid Kenneth passed away in 1995 at the age of 61. Conductor Ephraim Kurtz passed away in 1995 at the age of 94. Brian O'Hara of The Foremost committed suicide in 1999 at the age of 57. Composer Ener Ungland passed away in 1999 at the age of 83. Jazz guitarist Rudy Cafaro passed away in 2000 at the age of 80. John Entwistle of The Who died in his sleep of a cocaine-induced heart attack in his Las Vegas hotel room with a call girl by his side in 2002 at the age of 57 and really... Could you die from any less of a rock and roll way? God bless him. Although, 
age 57. Not good. Much higher. In any event, jazz pianist Russ Freeman passed away in 2002 at the age of 76. Singer Frank Hart passed away in 2005 at the age of 72. Singer Eileen Barton passed away in 2006 at the age of 81. Concert pianist Leonard Panario passed away from complications from Parkinson's disease in 2008 at the age of 83. Singer Gail Storm passed away in 2009 at the age of 87. Fayette Pinckney of the Three Degrees passed away in 2009 at the age of 61. Guitarist Jackie Washington passed away in 2009 at the age of 89. Trumpet player Enrique Otto Donner passed away in 2013 at the age of 73. Singer extraordinaire Mr. Bobby Womack, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Bobby Womack, no less, passed away in 2014 at the age of 70. Chris Squire of the group Yes, also another Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, passed away from leukemia in 2015 at the age of 67. He was also one of the few members of the group Yes who stayed for virtually the entire time until his death from 1969 to 2014. Songwriter Mac Rice passed away in 2016 at the age of 82. Jazz pianist Jerry Allen passed away from cancer in 2017 at the age of 60. Composer Johnny Mandel passed away in 2020 at the age of 94. Jazz singer Freddie Cole passed away in 2020 at the age of 88. Session guitarist Pete Carr of the Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section passed away in 2020 at the age of 70. Jazz composer Chico O'Farrell passed away in 2021 at the age of 79. Broadway singer Eileen Barton passed away in 2022 at the age of 81. And bluegrass mandolin player Bobby Osborne of the group The Osborne Brothers passed away in 2023 at the age of 91. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 28th, when in 1928... Louis Armstrong does jazz music's greatest recording. 